What's up, sons? It's Blind Rod with Son of Attack once again, and Samsung has confirmed in a recent post by TechCrunch that they are in fact building ASICs chips. Stick around to find out more. Samsung has now gone ahead and thrown their hat into the ring for manufacturing ASICs chips. Now don't get this confused with ASICs miners as then you would be under the impression that the competition is Bitmain. However, Bitmain is a customer themselves to TSMC who in the past quarter has increased their revenue to 350 to about 400 million just with cryptocurrency ASICs mining chips. Now, it would be amiss if we ever thought that Samsung wouldn't throw their hat in the ring as they've already toppled Intel in building just chips in general, which is quite impressive. Now, they're always thinking outside of the box, of course, and going towards the mobile chips, and they have a great memory manufacturing operation as well, being well known for also having one of the best memory or the most coveted memory for mining the popular cryptocurrency Ethereum or anything on ET hash in general. This doesn't, of course, go across the board all the way with GPU mining. However, we could see ourselves in a situation where the silicon lottery is whether you get a Samsung ASIC chip or a TSMC manufactured chip. Now, this also shouldn't come as a shocker because we saw last year Samsung building mining rigs with old Android phones. So obviously, Samsung is on the pro cryptocurrency side and we can only hope that this curbs the ASICs miner shortage as Samsung will now be manufacturing the chips but don't get confused because they haven't announced their customers. In fact, in the recent statement that they released to TechCrunch, they said Samsung's foundry business is currently engaged in manufacturing of cryptocurrency mining chips. However, we are unable to disclose further details regarding our customers. And so what this tells me is that Bitmain could potentially be one of Samsung's customers, which could present a problem as far as the whole monopoly on ASICs mining. Now, while there have been other companies that have reached out and tried to start getting into the game, the Bitmain S9s and etc. have been the gold standard and are routinely out of stock. So on the positive side, if Bitmain is one of Samsung's customers, the supply should go up. However, on the downside at the same time with that kind of thinking is that we aren't going to have any competition for the miners themselves. Just like when you have the GPU market and you have AMD and Nvidia, it's still nice to have third party manufacturer competition between companies like Sapphire and XFX. Without that, we wouldn't have near as many options for third party cooling or different performance capabilities or overclocking out of the box capabilities. And to see ASICs mining survive, we're definitely gonna need to see competition between people in this particular market going all the way down to the third party manufacturer and not just at the chip level. But we could see this as a net positive, regardless of whether or not Samsung sells their chips to Bitmain themselves, if the supply goes high enough up, all of us are going to have more options to go ahead and actually purchase these ASICs miners at retail. The other positive here is that if the supply goes up high enough, it might entice some third party manufacturers to hop into manufacturing other ASICs miners and then go into competition with Bitmain themselves. This is an interesting topic and I'm curious what you guys think about it in the comment section below. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe while you're down there and check out the description for coins.sonofatech.com for all of your mining pool needs as well as checking out our latest t-shirt i bought your gpu all of that goes to supporting the channel and buying more hardware for testing and of course now we'll be out at dreamhack in austin if you guys want to come out and say hi to us out there dp unique will be out there with me as well but until then i'll see you next tuesday